Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today the Subaru WRX STI is taking on our rally track. <laughs> So the last two weeks we have had podium finishes. The Land Rover Defender in the last episode tied second place with the Ford Focus RS from the first episode as we attempted to beat that reigning king Lamborghini. And uh, today I'm hoping that we are going to beat that Lamborghini finally. And what better car to do it in than the Subaru WRX STI. Now this thing is an absolute beast, it is already a rally car but we are going to have to upgrade it as per the rules of the series. But this thing is all wheel drive, I'm hoping with some rally tyres on there this thing is going to blow the Lamborghini out of the water. But let's see what we can do with this thing. If you haven't seen this series so far, basically every week we take a different vehicle down a custom built rally track. And uh, we can see what kind of lap time the vehicle puts down. At the moment, the Lamborghini LM002 is our reigning champion. It has been since episode 2. So it has been at the top for a long time. Every week I've been trying to beat that thing. And unfortunately, nothing can knock it off its pedestal. So hopefully the WRX can do something about that. Now, all the vehicles in the series are upgraded to S1 class. Um, the vehicles must keep their stock drivetrain and all the vehicles will be fitted with rally tyres or the off-road race tyre compound if they can't get the rally tyres. Now engine swaps are allowed and uh, I think we are going to have to do an engine swap uh, to get the PI to where we want it. So starting off, let's see what kind of horsepower we're making. 305 horsepower. Um, 335 pound feet of torque the thing weighs about a ton and a half so not too bad it's kind of to be expected from the vehicle it is um, we've got the 6.2 litre v8 we've got the 2 litre flat 4 turbo rally engine and we've got the 4 litre flat 6 now looking at these different engines we want to go for something with the least horsepower that's going to give us the most pi and I'm thinking that possibly the V8 is going to be our best option. Now, all of you JDM people are now screaming at me. How can you put a V8 in a Japanese car? That's just, you know, illegal. It's what we've got to do, unfortunately. We'll see if we can get this thing up the PI. We may have to come in and swap the engine again anyway. Um, now, as far as aero parts, we can go ahead and put aero parts on. Um, I'm not really sure if I want to. I think what I'm going to do first of all is actually go to the suspension options and put the off-road springs and damps on so we can see what kind of ride height we're getting before we decide on a splitter. And um, I think we might actually go for a splitter because that is going to help us with traction a little bit. The spoiler on the back is not really going to give us much traction but any traction we can get is going to be worth it. Mud flaps are not really going to uh, affect anything, but they do look good, so we'll go for those. And then we have got the uh, the rally options on the front, stuff like the uh, the scoop on the top and the rally lights. They don't really add much, all they really do is add weight, but they look pretty good. We're building a rally car, so let's go for it. <clears throat> Hopefully that will actually add a bit of weight to the wheels, force them down, give us a bit more traction. Now all the vehicles, as I said, will be fitted with the rally tyre compound. We can go ahead and upgrade the wheels uh, or the tyre size as much as we want. We, uh, we're getting 255, so that's pretty standard from what the vehicles we've seen run so far. I believe the Land Rover in the last episode was running 255 as well. Um, we'll go for full race installation will go for the race transmission it's going to be the six speed uh i'm not sure what this car would have had in a standard i'm guessing a six speed as well <clears throat> we'll go for full brakes we've already got the off-road springs and dampers 
We'll go for full anti-roll bars as well because we don't want this thing rolling about in the corners. Now, if the PI allows it, we will go for full weight reduction, which this vehicle does allow it, or as much weight reduction as the PI allows. Then we get into engine tuning parts. Now, this thing is 400 horsepower standard. I have a feeling it's going to be well into the 1,000 horsepower by the time we have finished with it. But let's have a little look. The thing certainly sounds correct, in my opinion at least. <laughs> it is a little bit of a shame taking the Boxer engine out of the Subaru. I do love the sound of the Boxer engine, but unfortunately we need the V8 in there for the PI. Now, when it's all said and done, we are almost at uh, 660 horsepower, 552 pound-feet of torque. The thing just weighs over a ton, and we've got a 7-litre V8 in there, and the thing does look like a rally car. So I'm hoping this thing doesn't have as much horsepower as the vehicle's run before, which is actually a good thing, because that means we'll have more traction. It's quite a light vehicle, and of course, it is a rally car already. So hopefully this thing can put down at least an impressive lap time. I'm going to go ahead and tune and paint the vehicle now and I will see you at the rally track. Okay, here we go for our first run in the Colin McRae inspired Subaru WRX STI. This thing certainly looks like a rally car, so let's hope it performs like one as well. The thing off the line is a little bit sluggish. Maybe in the corners could have been a little bit faster. But it actually handles the uh, tarmac section very, very well. A lot of the vehicles have wheel spin going there, but the uh, Subaru actually put its power down very well. Now, through some of these corners, I have been braking a little bit too early, possibly. So I can be a little bit later on the brakes. This thing is a sort of modern Japanese vehicle, so the brakes are to be expected to be very good. And I have to be very careful what I say here, otherwise Lewis is going to leave me a bad comment on this video. Now coming through the corners here, it certainly sounds fantastic going along down this rally track. Unfortunately, you couldn't keep that boxer engine in, but I'm not ashamed to say that the V8 sounds beautiful. This thing is soaking up those bumps very, very nicely. I'm kind of having to judge what gear to be in though. This thing gets turned in very, very well with that splitter on the front. I think that was a good option, as hideous as it does look on the front of this vehicle. Now, coming into the two right-handers up the hill. We could possibly do with a little bit more power coming up the hill here. Maybe around the 800 horsepower mark would have been better. But the Subaru, getting its power down well with no wheel spin, that is the important thing here. I'm out a little bit wide in the bushes there. That's going to cost us a little bit of time, unfortunately. But the Subaru is sticking to this track like glue. It actually is handling very well. I'm almost flat through that corner, which I haven't been able to do so far. However, I am in the wrong gear. Fifth was not the gear we wanted through there. So I'm still learning how this car drives. It doesn't drive as... Uh, quickly as some of the other vehicles but it does handle a lot better so I'm going to have to use the handling capability to my advantage but we cross the line with a 213.500 which is already going to put the Subaru into fourth place above the Audi Quattro from the first episode just behind the Bentley Continental Supersport so um, definitely has a lot of potential do I think it's going to beat the Lamborghini? Well, it's going to have to shave off quite a lot of time here to beat that Lamborghini, but it's certainly got a chance of being a podium. So let's see what we can do in our next couple of runs. All right, here we go for round number two. Let's see what we can do in the Subaru. Now, I know that the brakes are very good, so I'm going to try and be a little bit braver. We've got another run to go if we do mess this one up. I'm going to try my very best to put down a good lap time. Now this corner here, I braked a little bit too early for last time. Again, this time, not quite as bad, but I could have been a bit later on the brakes there. That is going to cost us a little bit of time. Now the Subaru through the water splash is pretty good. The bigger water splash here, maybe not so much. It is still quite a low vehicle, considering it is a rally car. 
Now I'm going to try my very best to keep this thing in the right gear here. The change down to third there was not the best idea. We are out a little bit wide on the exit. We're in a little bit shallow and wide on that exit. We are all over the racing line here, but hopefully that isn't going to cost us too much time. I'm trying to focus as best I can. It's not the easiest thing whilst you're doing live commentary and driving. Now I'm going to change down to third for the hairpin. We went for second last time, but we did have a bit of wheel spin leaving. Third was perfect through there, so I'll make a mental note of that. Over the jump, not terrible. We are hitting the rev limiter a little bit down there, though. Now up the hill here in fourth, hopefully that isn't going to be too bad, it is not, in fact we're going to change up to fifth, coming towards the top. I'm going to turn in early for the left hander and knock it down to fourth, we were in fifth through there last time, so that is going to help us a little bit. Coming up to the horribly deceptive corner here, we're in fifth, going to knock it down to fourth for that corner. We get out of there a lot cleaner and a lot faster than our previous lap time. So hopefully that is going to help us. Unfortunately, I don't think this thing is going to have a shot at beating that Lamborghini. But if it can get a podium finish, I would be happy with that. That is the Lamborghini's time already gone down there. And across the line at a 2.010. Sorry, a 2.10. 0.547 that puts it a second behind the Bentley Continental Supersport which is still going to be a fourth place for the Subaru we shaved off almost three seconds which is very impressive but if it's going to have a shot at that podium we're going to have to shave off yet another second so we've got one more run let's see what we can do okay this is the final attempt for a podium finish in the Subaru let's see if we can manage it there was a few areas of improvement. I was out wide on some of the corners. I could have braked later in areas. Hopefully those couple of things are going to add up to a second. We don't want to overshoot any of the corners. That was perfect through there. We're on the racing line. A little bit of understeer though coming into the second half of that turn. Then we're into the water splashes. I'm going to knock it down to third through here. Hopefully that is going to give us... A little bit more speed on the exit, which it does. Now coming up the hill to the right-hander. I'm going to break late for this corner, knock it down to third. We're still out wide a little bit on the exit there, but not as bad as the last run. Now turning in early for the left-hander through there. That was a lot, lot cleaner than our previous lap time. This is feeling much better. Now up the hill, I'm just going to put foot down up here. The Subaru soaking the bumps up nicely through there. I'm going to keep my foot in it through there. Coming into the hairpin. Now we wanted third through the hairpin. Third is the gear to go for through there. Absolutely beautiful through that section. Now down the straight, we did hit the rev limiter a little bit there. Changing down to third for these couple of corners. And then up the hill here in 4th. Then we're coming up to the crest in 5th. And then knock it down again into 4th for the left-hander there. This is feeling a lot faster than our previous run. We are ahead. Now I'm going to knock it down to 4th before the corner. That was absolutely beautiful through there from the Subaru. This thing really, really complementing my driving well. It does handle absolutely beautiful, sticks to this uh, circuit like glue. This is going to be our fastest run if I don't muck up this last couple of corners. Let's see what we can do on the run down the hill. Is it going to be faster than our previous lap? I don't think it is by very much. A 210.164, just a couple of tenths of a second faster. It felt a lot faster. I was a lot more on it. Through, uh, through the straights, in the corners, I was braking late, I was doing everything correctly, unfortunately the Subaru just didn't quite have enough to give through there, but still a 210.164 is an impressive lap time from the Subaru. Well there we have it guys, the Subaru WRX STI is going to be a 4th place with a 210.164, a second behind the Bentley Continental Supersport, 
A little bit unfortunate, but a very, very good lap time nonetheless. I think if this thing had a little bit more power, if I'd possibly put on a turbo or a supercharger, this thing could have beaten that Lamborghini. But unfortunately, that is going to be the lap time that goes down for the Subaru. Hopefully next week we will have something a little bit different for you. But if you have enjoyed this episode, it would be awesome if you could smash the like button and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with our rally series. We've had quite a lot of episodes run so far, so if you want to check out some of the previous episodes, make sure to look in the comments down below. I will leave a link to a playlist in there. But thanks all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and we'll see you in the next video.